Welcome back to Technicals. This is part 7 of Tailwind CSS video series. In this video, I will show you how to create various kinds of forms such as log basic login forms and um, fancy grid forms and also fancy underline forms using Tailwind CSS. Okay, before we get into this video, quick channel analytics. This channel is getting good amount of views. However, there is a small percentage of viewers only or subscribers. So, if you have not subscribed yet, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button now and follow me on Twitter. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get into the coding. Let's start with line page with um, title forms and uh, horizontal line okay so how does it look in chrome so welcome to tech nuggets and forms okay let's start with let's start with basic login form so I'll go ahead and create that okay so this one is based on flex it's a basic login form again as i mentioned tailwind is tailwind css is more flexible css systems and it is not limiting you to create your uh, not limiting you to create the very standard size and shapes right so it's up to your uh, creativity and you can make use of all the utility styles okay it's based on flex and I am creating a username with the one div and a placeholder for that. You a username and same way password and one button sign in and forgot password and the whole thing in the top layer with the um, max width and we have a rounded shadow medium shadow form style medium shadow and rounded like drop shadow kind of effect okay let's save this and um, see how does it look in chrome perfect so you see the username password awesome so nice shadow with a round rounded border and perfect this is a perfect login screen okay now let's create the inline forms uh, let's go ahead and create inline form. So, okay, so let's do inline form now. So the inline form is one I basically um, go with the fields and uh, so what I've added uh, my own creativity on this inline forms are uh, different shapes for each field for example username is like a, it's a bullet uh, bullet style uh, it's for example rounded right full okay means right side round full shape so it looked like a bullet shape and for the password um, i made it like a fill style basically you will see that rounded full you can see this rounded full which makes you fill shape and um, the data bath which we i make it like the top corner of the burger shape or semicircle right uh, that brings you rounded T full T full letters and uh, image uh, just to add so bottom full for example rounded B hyphen full so it gives you bottom full like uh, the semicircle very nice shapes and some of the checkboxes and uh, I have two buttons 
so again as i mentioned uh, this will not this is up to your imagination and your own styling capabilities how do you bring up the shape okay let's go ahead and see this output of this form perfect so if you look at uh, username it's a, a kind of bullet one side password fill shape date of birth with like a top of the burger right of so date type and email is the half like this okay then we have two button then two check boxes so this is about the default form and inline forms okay okay next we'll see the other two types of forms one is a grid and underline forms now let's go ahead and create um, grid based forms so as i mentioned this is grid based you are going to have a grids um, grids of rows and columns kind of shape and top of that you are going to form this on top of that you are going to develop this form okay let's do this how it looks let's see here so form grid some uh, dr i have given uh, as i said again all flex right it's all the from the flex so for flex wrap mx to minus 3 mb minus 6 that's a margin border and again i made a shape uh, for example here uh, first name last name split into two grids and the password i wanted to stretch to the whole thing uh, for the all three oh, i mean all all two poles fields then city state and some of the drop downs okay now let's save this and see how does this grid form looks perfect so first name last name and the password is wrapped into this entire two fields i've stretched it the below i am a city state zip i am wrapping into i am filling into as a three fields okay again this you can if you want to limit your password to one field you can so it's again it's up to you how do you want to design this flexible grid okay because okay now um, we'll see the next kind of forms that's underline forms okay Again, this underlines again depends on the way you how are you going to use your style. Okay, so let's go back and add it. Uh, flex again, all the forms based on flex. Okay, so form background white, drop shadow. Then you can find that um, the input style with the class appearance none bg transparent border none widthful so this is how it makes that underline star okay and also it has a placeholder for full name and next we have a placeholder for password it's supposed to be a password okay so i save this then sign up and cancel so let's see how does it look it's perfect so you see this username password sign up cancel very nice shadow with a simple underline these are called underline forms it's a new kind of forms uh, it's basically it's a very compact for anywhere if you want to use it in your application for a quick login okay so thanks uh, thank you for your time this is about forms we'll see you in the next video